Let's get a move on by adding a custom animated gecko lib item to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding the custom animated item. And I already have the item prepared right here. So you can see it's sort of like a staff, but we're just going to call it the animated underscore item. And it also, of course, has an animation. That is the whole idea. So the gold block over here is just moving up and down. And it's nothing, you know, too crazy, but it is definitely a custom item. And it is a custom animated item. So for this, we need three JSON files to be exported from the block bench and also the texture. Now, the Blockbench file here is, of course, going to be available to you as well for download. So, and as well, you will once again need the Gecolib Animation Utils plugin for this. So, do keep that in mind. Once that is all done, you can go to File and then export the Gecolib model right here. And this is going to be the animated underscore item dot geo dot JSON. There you go. Also, want to export the Gecolib display settings. This is going to be the item model JSON file. And then we want to go to Animate and then go to Animation again and export the animation. This is in this case the idle animation. And just make Making sure that this is named correctly animated underscore item dot animation dot json perfect and then the texture we're going to just going to right click save as and then also save the animated underscore item png there you go so now you have four files and let's transfer all of them to intellij in the assets folder we of course already have the animations folder this is where our animation json goes there we go animated item animation and then we have the geo json file that's going to go right here and then the just animated json file goes into the tutorial mod folder and here we actually want to create a models folder again and inside of there we want to create an item folder because this is an item model json file in this case and it determines as you can see third person first person how this is all being displayed so we actually do need a custom item model here and it is not possible to data generate this because well anytime you would change something like how it looks in the left hand how it looks in the right hand you would have to change that in the code anyway and it doesn't make any sense so basically that's what we want to have and then in the item folder textures we're going to have the animated item png in here as well and now all of the files are done let's also add the translation here because why not this is going to be the animated underscore item translated to animated item beautiful right the first thing that we want to do is we want to make a custom package here in our item package and this is going to contain the animated item class and this will extends the normal item class from net minecraft world item and it will also implement the geo item in this case this is the geo item interface so let's implement the methods let's say okay Let's hover over again, create constructor matching super. If once again, the parameter name annoys you, just click on it, shift F6, and then you can change the name. And you can see the geo item itself has once again, the animatable instance cache, which is very straightforward. This is what we've already seen in the entity. We just want a animatable instance cache right here called cache. And then we're just gonna make a new single animatable instance cache passing in this and then just returning it. When it comes to the controllers, I'm just going to actually copy over the controller and the predicate because it is very, very straightforward. And once again, of course, all of the code is available to you. So you can see the controller is exactly the same that we had in the entity as well. And then we have a predicate here. In this case, it only has an idle animation and nothing else. So it is very, very straightforward. There is, however, two other methods that we need to overwrite. The first one is going to be the get tick method over here. And this one actually is going to return the render utils dot get current tick. Very important that this is done. Otherwise, the animation will not play. And we also want to override the initialize client method right here. We're just going to delete the super and we will actually fill this in a moment. However, we can't yet because this actually needs to be filled with the renderer, which we're going to make in also just a moment. So in the mod items class now, we can proceed to register our custom item. For this, we're just going to take the raw black opal here. That's going to be fine. This is going to be the animated item. And of course, don't forget to change the name here as well. Animated underscore item. And this is a new animated item. There you go. Nothing else needs to change in this case. And before I forget it again, let's also add it to the proper creative mode tab over here. So this is going to be the animated item. There you go. And once that is done, we can now create another new package. And that is the client package in the item package, which will contain both the model as well as the renderer. Now, those are going to be also very similar to what we've seen so far. So this is the item animated item model. And we also have the animated item renderer. Starting with the model, this extends the geo model interface with the animated item here in the angle brackets implement the three methods and you can see it is the same three methods the model resource the texture resource and the animation resource and it just requires once again to have 
the a new resource location pointing to exactly the correct GeoJSON file in this case, and then to pointing to the animation JSON file here and the PNG right here. So this is gonna be textures, making sure that this is written correctly, double check this animated item dot PNG. And then this one is gonna be the animations, animations, animated item dot animation dot adjacent. There you go. And that is pretty much the model done. In the renderer, we're gonna do the same thing. This is the geo item renderer. Once again, of course, of animated item in this case. Just hover over this, create constructor matching super. We're gonna choose the, it doesn't matter which one we choose actually, because we're gonna delete the this one anyway. And then inside of here, we're just gonna make a new animated item model. There we go, absolutely beautiful. And then we can go to the animated item class again. And inside of the initialize client method, we want to say consumer.accept. We wanna pass in a new iClient item extension. This is going to be an anonymous class. And we need to override, this is very important, the get custom renderer method right here. We're gonna say okay. So instead of this anonymous class, we're gonna make a private animated item renderer called renderer. And inside of the get custom renderer, we're gonna say if this.renderer equals null, then what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new renderer. So we're gonna say renderer equals new animated item renderer. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna return it. Return this.renderer. Of course, ending it with a semicolon, there you go. And that's going to be the entire item done. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be all of the things. So we of course need another model file, a renderer file, and the custom item file. So once again, of course, we need a custom model class, a custom renderer class, and a custom item class in this case. We then need to, of course, as is always the case, register this item. And once that is done, we pretty much have everything that we need. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, found ourselves back in Minecraft and let's take a look and there it is, the animated item. And you can see down in the hotbar, you can see it already moving. And if I take it into the hand, you can see the gold block is moving. It will also move when you throw it on the ground. And even, right, if we were to make an item frame, just for the sake of argument, right, let's just get an item frame over here. And you will be able to see that when I place it into the item frame, it is also going to be moving in there. So that is really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much how easy it can be to add a custom animated gecko lib item to Minecraft. All right, that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.